booktube this is kelly thank you so much for watching my channel books i'm not reading i'm out here in my backyard and i'm here to do one of my fake crates if you're new to my channel and you've never seen a fake crate before um there's lots of lots of box box kind of companies out there and lots of uh booktubers you know they unbox and it's got like a book maybe and some other like fun things like a candle or that kind of thing anyway i'm not gonna i'm not gonna pay to do that i i have enough stuff already but um i like to pretend that you know i'm mary poppins or something and i could make these magical uh fake crates <laughs> um, and i would love to send them to all of you and this one i've been really waffling about whether or not to do but um because you know just because it's summer doesn't mean that any of us need an excuse to read and yet nonetheless there are summer reading programs it for adults um i know in america this to be true i'm not sure about other countries i would love to hear what your library does for adults in the summer if anything for a while um jason and i lived in missoula montana and uh the light the public library there i'm so sorry about the dogs there's just nothing i can do <laughs> um there there was no summer reading program unless you had children which we do not so we were such geeks and such dorks that we came up with our own summer reading um themes right because there's always got to be a different theme and uh yeah like we had we were just very silly and very geeky and dorky we made our own little journals of what we were going to read and what we did actually read and stickers and yeah it was it was super silly but today i have for you a picnic themed summer reading now obviously if you're going to the beach if you're going to the mountains like you could have a different a completely different fake crate uh with different things in it oh so the first thing I'm going to show you is, this is our library's uh, bookmark for summer reading, The Little Fox. So I kind of took that as inspiration as well. So we have to have a mascot for summer reading. This is Arthur. He's our fox uh, for summer reading. I wish you guys could see all this stuff. Anyway, um, and then uh, in the past it had been, um, you know, like the number of books you read, what you read, that sort of thing. So, so I would I would always use like a little journal. I love this one, Peter Pan Neverland Passport. Isn't that fantastic? And even the inside is super cool. You you can make one though really easily. Um, like this one too. The world needs more Canada. Or just a little. A little composition book. As I said, in the past, it had been the number of books you've read. Well, in this, um, I don't really feel like I can say post-COVID time, but um, in in these in these days, um, now this year, our library is using an app called Beanstack, which I believe is free. Um, and the point is to read 20 minutes every single day um, or as many days as you possibly can. So um, for instance, like there's a, a little shot of, so you can, you can actually use a timer on there or you can log how many, many minutes you've read. And then the library is somehow connected to all of this and um, will know when you get a prize. Um, and we'll talk more about prizes here in just a little bit. But I'd love to hear what, again, if your library does number of books or number of minutes or how, how do they decide um, what to do uh, if, if, you're, if you're gonna get a prize or something like that. So, okay, a few books that I felt like were appropriate for summer reading. Um, I have not read all of, I've only read actually one of them, <laughs> but uh, I had to bring this one out again because it got so much attention the last time I showed it on my channel. This is actually Jason's book. I did not buy this, but um, yeah. So like the summer, it's just a time to read like 
fun stuff, right? It's a time to, it can be a time to read really relaxing things. Um, but I'm, I'm, again, I'm not saying that there aren't those of you who could read Crime and Punishment by the Pool. It's possible, it's really possible. This is, this is my big summer read. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be starting this today, uh, How to Stop Time by Matt Haig. Um, I went to the Caribbean one year um, and took along The Long Song by Andrea Levy, which was, which was great. It was a really great book to read while we were there. We did not go, this takes place in Jamaica, um, and we did not go to Jamaica, but um, still very much felt kind of the atmosphere and the ambiance, right? So if you're, if you're traveling somewhere, I just always think it's so much fun to have a book that takes place there. And then because of our fox theme, I grabbed this one, Rough Beauty, 40 Seasons of Mountain Living. So this is maybe more appropriate for my little, my little summer reading picnic basket here. The other thing is, you know, you gotta watch some summer movies. Now, you probably can't see my shirt. My shirt says, what kind of bird are you? Um, because one of my absolute favorite movies is Moonrise Kingdom. This is, of course, the Schwanky, Schwanky edition. Um, uh, this is a Wes Anderson film, and uh, I, I absolutely love it. Um, can't believe Jason let me bring the criterion out here on the lawn, but yeah, Moonrise Kingdom takes, I'm, I'm pretty sure it takes place in the summer. Uh, yeah, so I just really, I love, love this film. And another really fantastic summer film that I love is The Way Way Back. Um, this has so many great people in it. Tony Collette, um, Allison Janney, um, Sam Rockwell, Anyway, I love it. Uh, it's definitely, this takes place during the summer. Um, it's super funny and yeah, just, uh, yeah, something enjoyable. So I need to, I, need, I haven't seen either of those yet this summer, so I need to do that. Okay, so the other thing that I really remember about summer reading was activities. Now, um, again, like to each his own, right? I mean, like, do uh, do what you what you like to do, but I um, found a few things um, that uh, I thought would be fun. Um, so this is my paint by sticker book that one of you graciously sent me, and um, as you can see, let me see if I can find one that I've actually started on. There, it, it's much harder than you might think it is. Um, so there's. There's one of my sticker creations. Uh, anyway, so it's just very, very fun, very relaxing. Um, I like Sudoku, I grabbed that. Um, now, another thing, I haven't actually shown this on my channel because I haven't, haven't done any of these yet, but I have this set of paper dolls <laughs> that one of you sent me. Um, I think it's absolutely hilarious. Uh, so there's like all the different kind of things you can put on the face. Here's like the, the dolls themselves, right? I, I really kind of want to make them all like different booktubers. <laughs> and then, and then when I'm talking about you, I could just hold up like the paper doll version of you. <laughs> But uh, yeah, and then here's our clothes. And I, I think I only thought of this because um, I do remember one summer reading activity as a kid where we had like the outline of a figure on a white sheet of paper and we took fabric and glued it together to make it a complete creation. Now. Also keep in mind that you know my mother was an art teacher and so I was never short of art supplies uh, in the house growing up especially during the summer so um, I had access to a lot of things that that most kids um, didn't um, now now uh, there also should be treats in this picnic themed uh, summer reading program I should have watermelon the best I could do was a can of Sprite <laughs> Um, uh, I also grabbed, um, I, I 
have uh, some tension tamer tea. I also inside have some relaxation tea and um, some tea that's supposed to help you sleep. So clearly some people are worried about my stress level, <laughs> which is why I wanted to do something so fun and silly like summer reading. Now, then we get to the last part of summer reading, which is if you actually complete one of the challenges, you should get a prize, right? I mean, really. Um, now, my library, the first prize um, available to you is a tote bag. I am telling you guys, I have so many totes and I have really cool totes. <laughs> so, so I've read this one out. I don't know if I've shown this on here before. Um, it's quite big. It's got this beautiful woman looking out from the bookshelves on both sides. And then inside is a little pocket. And it looks like a like a old stamping library. Uh, the public library where they would stamp when your book was due. Some of you probably don't remember that those days, but that's okay. That's all right. So, so there's my tote. Then, and I am getting like, n nothing is sponsored in this video or anything like that, okay? <laughs> I'm just, just doing this to share, share this with you. Um, so this is a great company called Bob Blue. I will leave a link to their website down below. Um, I have been getting their catalogs or someone in my family has been getting their catalogs for a very, very long time. Um, it is, uh, yeah, it's, it's got, and I don't know, I apologize, I don't know that, that they, um, ship internationally or not, um, I would have to, I would have to look into that, but they just have, like, in addition to having books, and they have their own, so they have their, their own summer reading program, like, kits, um, of, diff of different books, so there's, like, a mystery one, there's one for kids. Um, there's a nonfiction one. Um, yeah. So in addition to selling books, they also sell a lot of really cool bookish stuff like socks, cards, puzzles. Um, a few of you have received uh, maybe a pop-up card from me and that definitely came from Bob Blue. So there is something in here that I really want. Um, I need to figure out <laughs> what my goal should be in order to deserve it because it is it is a little bit pricey. Um, but I will I will share it with you guys uh, in the future if I do get it on my channel. There is also, by the way, a Jane Austen face mask in here. I already own one, but this is one with all like like pictures of characters. Mine is all words. Um, but anyway, for those of you who are interested, so so that so it's important to have you know something to work toward. Not work. Summer reading should be fun. But and like I said, I realize you know none of us need an excuse to read more um, than any other time of the year than the other. But I just think like it shouldn't just be for kids. So anyway, I have my picnic um, my picnic blanket out here I've got my picnic basket and uh, yeah I think I think I'm, I'm ready to go I would really love to hear what you do for summer reading if your library has a program um, if if there's um, if you have childhood memories of participating in summer reading again I have no idea like what other countries do what their library systems do if they have summer reading programs or not but um, I can tell you growing up in a small, a small town, summer reading was a very big deal. Like we even had a parade one year. <laughs> so um, anyway, so tell me all about your summer reading plans, uh, your summer reading memories. And um, I am just so excited to hear about it. I hope you enjoyed this fake crate. And um, book two, remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others. I will talk to you soon. Bye.